in this video, we will find the exact values of sine 18 degrees and cosine 36 degrees by trigonometric formula and geometry. I will make use of a special trick in algebra as well. As a bonus, I will also show you a complete table of trigonometric ratios of 18 degrees, 36 degrees, 54 degrees, and 72 degrees, and the way to work them out. Let's get started. For the first method, we let x equals to 18 degrees. Then, 5x is equal to 90 degrees. Subtract 3x on both sides. Now, we take a sign for both terms. The right-hand side is equal to cosine 3x. Let's apply the double angle formula for sine 2x, which is 2 sine x cosine x. Then, for cosine 3x, we use the triple angle formula, that is 4 cosine cube x minus 3 cosine x. On both sides, we can cancel out cosine x because it's non zero. Why? Remember that x is equal to 18 degrees. Actually, cosine 18 degrees is larger than zero. At this point, we make use of the identity cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Simplify the equation, we get 4 sine squared x plus 2 sine x minus 1 is equal to 0. This equation can be solved by the quadratic formula. However, let me show you the algebra trick. Now, divide the whole equation by 4 and put 1 over 4 to the right hand side. Then, we are going to make use of the completing square method. How does it work? If we write the second term as 2 times 1 over 4 sine x, then the left hand side looks like a squared plus 2ab. We just need to add the b squared to make a perfect square. In this case, we add 1 over 4 whole square on both sides. Then the left hand side is factorized as a plus b whole square, which is sine x plus 1 over 4 whole square. And the right hand side is equal to 5 over 16. Actually, this is also the method to prove the quadratic formula taking square roots on both sides and reject the negative answer. Again, because sine 18 degrees is larger than zero. So we get the exact value of sine 18 degrees, which is square root 5 minus 1 over 4. Let's move on to cosine 36 degrees. We make use of another double angle formula. Cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. Put x equals to 18 into the equation. Then the left hand side is cosine 36 degrees. Now we put the value of sine 18 degrees from above. Expand and simplify. The rest of the steps are straightforward. You may pause the video for a while to read them in detail. So cosine 36 degrees is equal to square root 5 plus 1 over 4. The two values look very similar to each other. Do they have any hidden relationships? Indeed, we can see that in the geometric method. Consider triangle ABC where angle A is equal to 36 degrees and AB is equal to AC. So angle B is equal to angle C. The sum of three angles is 180 degrees, so both unknown angles are 72 degrees. Now, let D be a point on AC such that BD bisects angle B. The two angles are both 36 degrees. Then we look at the red triangle. Angle D can be found easily, which is also equal to 72 degrees. Well, all these are not just coincidence. Let's look at the green triangle and the red triangle together. Because all the three pairs of angles are equal, that is AAA, so the two triangles are similar. We will make use of this important result in a second. Let's move on to the lengths. Suppose AB is equal to AC equals to 1. Let AD equals to X. So CD is equal to 1 minus X. In the purple triangle, because angle B is equal to angle A, so DB is equal to DA, which is X. We do the same for the red triangle. Again, because angle C is equal to angle D, so BC is equal to X. Now, we can make use of ratio of size of similar triangles. X over 1 minus X 
is equal to 1 over x. Simplifying, we get x squared plus x is equal to 1. Let's apply completing square method again. We write x as 2 times 1 over 2x. Then we add 1 over 2 whole square on both sides. So the equation becomes bracket x plus 1 over 2 whole square is equal to 5 over 4. Taking square root, and reject and simplify, we have x is equal to square root 5 minus 1 over 2. It looks like the value of side 18 degrees in method 1, but we have to construct 18 degrees in this triangle. Let E be the midpoint of BC and construct AE. So BE is equal to x over 2. By symmetry, AE is perpendicular to BC and each angle at A is equal to 18 degrees. Let's just look at half of the triangle. We have sine 18 degrees is equal to BE over BA, which is equal to x over 2. Put the value of x inside, again we get the value of sine 18 degrees directly. How about cosine 36 degrees? Let's look at the purple triangle. We let f be the midpoint of AB and construct DF. So AF is equal to 1 over 2. Because DA is equal to DB, that is, triangle DAB is isosceles, so DF is perpendicular to AB. We look at half of it. Here, cosine 36 degrees is equal to AF over AD, that is, 1 over 2x. We put the value of x inside and cancel out the 2 right here. To simplify further, we make use of rationalization. Multiplied by the fraction square root 5 plus 1 over square root 5 plus 1. Again, we get the value of square root 5 plus 1 over 4. For the rest of the trigonometric ratios, we can apply these two identities to obtain cosine 18 degrees and tangent 18 degrees. The method is the same for 36 degrees as well. Now, for 54 degrees and 72 degrees, we make use of another three identities about 90 degrees minus x. So 54 degrees is related to 36 degrees and 72 degrees is related to 18 degrees. Here is a complete table of the sine, cosine and tangent values of 18 degrees, 36 degrees, 54 degrees and 72 degrees. Check out more videos of geometry or trigonometry right here on the screen. I will see you there.